hey guys what's up welcome welcome back to our channel now guys today i have for you a very exciting video because this video is about setting powders and you guys know how important a powder can just finish your makeup and make your skin look flawless i did a video on setting powders before which one is best for you so you guys can go and check out that video i'll link it up here or up here you'll see an eye just click it and it will take you to that video but today guys as I try to suggest I'll be trying out two setting powders from Sasha Cosmetics and if you guys don't know Sasha Cosmetics is a Caribbean brand based in Trinidad and so yeah I am proud to rep because y'all know that I'm Jamaican all right so everybody knows the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. everybody and their mother and their father and their brother I've been using my trusty Sasha Buttercup setting powder for uh, almost two years now and this thing has never failed me I mean what are we looking for in a setting powder something to give you like a flawless finish something that will not cause a flashback but a setting powder actually should help with the transfer all right so I'm going to place the Sasha Buttercup on one side of my face and I'm going to put the Sasha setting powder which is a translucent one on the other side of my face and we're gonna see how they turn out I have on foundation already and I did my brows that's all I did so we're gonna apply concealer really quickly and then get on to the battle okay, so the concealer I'll be using is one of my favorite concealers right now and it's the Colourpop concealer no filter concealer and i have it in the shade deep 70 so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that So I've gone ahead and blended out my concealer. So on the left side, which I think is going to be your right side, on this side I'm going to put the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to use it to press the powder into my skin and then I'm going to bake because I really want to see the result that we would get if we even bake. And you guys know that I'm a chocolate girl so I'm interested to see how the translucent powder is going to do when I bake because I've never baked with it before. So let's go ahead and apply the Sasha. By the way, my sponge is damp and I'm just pressing it into the skin right now. And then I'm going to bake. Okay, so this is what the Sasha looks like when it's pressed into the skin then I'm going to turn the other side of my sponge and apply the translucent powder on this side This is what my skin looks like with both powders pressed into my skin let me just zoom up a bit and show you guys how it looks before I go ahead and bake all right you guys so this is what both sides looks like when it's set so I don't know if you guys can tell but I can't really tell a difference they both look the same the Sasha side kind of have a the, like the slightest yellow to it and this side is a bit more cool tone but they're both basically translucent you cannot tell a difference so I'm gonna go ahead and bake give these powders a few minutes and then see how they dust off
the powders have been sitting on my face for about five minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and use two different powder brushes to dust off these powders all right Sasha Cosmetics know what they're doing. Powders are really, really, really translucent. As you, I don't know if you guys can tell, but looking at it, this one is more cool tone for sure. Like, it doesn't have any warmth in it, but this side is a bit warmer, like slightly, slightly. But I don't see a huge difference, and they both make my skin look filtered flawless they are both great guys so regardless of your skin tone both of these powders will work if it is that you're caucasian the yellow powder might show up a bit on your skin tone but the translucent one would be great for you if you are of a darker complexion either one will work i that's what i strongly feel because even though this powder is white this one it's absolutely translucent so there you go those are the two powders uh compared with each other uh if i should find a difference i would say the difference is obviously the color of the powders and also i feel like the sasha buttercup side is a bit heavier this one it's just so light and airy like it just sweeps away like magic but the sasha buttercup is a bit thicker more like you know how the ben and i have a heavier thing to it a heavier feel to it that's i would say that the sasha have a heavier feel than this all right so that's the comparison you guys i would say if you had to choose one i would <laughs> i don't know how to choose i don't know how to choose i don't know guys i'm really really torn i like the yellow tint to this one but this one you can use all over your face and it doesn't <sighs> it comes off so i don't know you can get either one i think i i think i would go with the the, the buttercup and this is just me being biased because i'm used to the buttercup and it has that yellow undertone and you know but you can go with either one either one will work you guys and seeing that i'm a makeup artist oh this is great in my kit and so i'm happy that i got it if you're jamaican i got this in fontana for 2000 and change just a little bit 2000 plus um and these are sold uh, for about 20 us i think i think this one is about 15 dollars but i'll leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys that's it you guys a comparison between the sasha buttercup and the regular sasha translucent setting powder i'm gonna go ahead and take a picture with flash to see how it looks both powders look with flash hold up Alright guys, so this is my face with both the Sasha Buttercup setting powder on this side and the Sasha Translucent setting powder on this side. Alright, let me know your, your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and of course turn on your notifications so that you never miss a upload from moi. And until next time, stay blessed guys. I work. Yeah, if one minute, but everything I work, still I work.